Open her up now. Are you nervous? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Right. <clears throat> Don't be scared. It's okay. <laughs> Don't fail this time. Anyway, we're live now. Hello, everyone. Still loading on my end, but hello. <laughs> Eh, you can be sure it'll show up sooner or later. Mm -hmm. I see it now. Got the uh, pixelized background. Yep. Alright. We had one level. We had one level left. One. Specifically, one, level left. one wrench left. Yeah. Oh man! 99.2% Yep So that means a wrench it, Wow Oh wait no, 99.2 I thought it, uh, For a moment I was thinking 92% I was thinking, wow, wrench is worth a lot <laughs> Yeah oh. Well, with how difficult it is to get Yeah, really This one in particular yeah. We changed the weight of this one It's worth 8% on its own Yeah. So how was your day? Good question. <laughs> I, I I hear you. I hear you. Um, I think it went okay. Yeah. Kind of felt like a Monday, but uh, wasn't too bad. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't as bad as Monday was actually, but you know. Yeah, you still get that, that vibe of, you know, it's the beginning of the week, you're kind of going, eh, but it's not quite as bad as Mondays usually are, or at least tend to be. Fair enough. Yep. Fair enough. What about you? I forgot to take my medicine before I went to sleep last night, so I spent all day groggy head. Not not knowing why. I was like, why do I feel like crap all day? <laughs> yeah, that'll do that. Yep. But hey, now that I know what it was, I fixed it. Sweet. So everything ah! A okay. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I gotta see what happened. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Ah. Oh. Yep. Oh. I managed to do all that, and then I, I died at the worst place. That is a shame. Yep. Now, if only I could take out a few of the spikes here. You know, in some video games, if you die to an enemy enough times, it'll just remove that enemy. It'll be like, you know what? I think he gets the point. There's an enemy there. Yeah, I, I've, I've heard of, of, of um, some game, one game doing that. I don't remember what it was. Uh, I guess you have to take that. Nope. Nope. Okay. Not my problem. That's good. Technically, if my phone, when my phone rings, it's my problem. But then I just look at the caller ID and it's usually a 1-800 number. So it's not yeah, my problem. Yeah. <laughs> what, if you, what if you're in the mood to be sold something, you know? You're like, I feel like being sold. Like some shitty product I'll never use. Well, you know what? Maybe I'm not happy with my cable service. Every now and then I'll pick up and I'll be like, yeah, what do you want? Well, I won't Let's answer it like that, but, you know. You've been given a great chance this one time. Make it count. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> maybe maybe it was, <laughs> it's kind of tempting to say that I come to think of it. Now that you mention it. <laughs> You're like, yeah, you know what? I normally don't answer these calls, but uh, hi, and yes, you are calling me. You get one chance. Go. <laughs> yeah. Did you practice your ten minute blurb, my friend? Because... 
actually it's probably closer to three minutes. Because there's that, there's that golden, like, point where, like, if you ask a person in a cold call three questions, they usually hang up after that. So you get about that much time. Hmm. Yeah. I can see that. I could definitely see that. Whoa. I got distracted by the fact that I glitched over the edge of there. Well, glitched on, not so much over. Over would have killed me. You know, it's it, it's a good thing I have the patience that I do, because, like, I just die and die and I just don't notice it as much. Just let it go. Yeah. But yeah, if I end up answering such a call and then going, you know what, I'm really not interested in what they have to say. I usually add them to my, uh, my phone book. Nah, oh. I don't. I don't bother blocking them mostly because that probably means I'd have to call in or something. Um, this is on my landline, by the way, not my my cell phone, because uh, right. I tend to not give my cell phone number away. Um, but yeah, I, I just add them to the phone's uh, address book or whatever you want to call it, um, contact list, I guess. And I just write something like telemarket company or. They called me for whatever they called me for, basically. Carpet company. Actually, I never right. been called by carpet company, but you know. Yeah, yeah I, get, I get what you mean. I get what you're saying. So, yeah. I think I asked you this already, but how did your dad go? <laughs> Oh, was, right, you were uh, talking about your medicine. Yep, yep, that was it. And then the phone rang, and then we talked about that. And it completely derailed the conversation. Yep. Not that my day was much anything to talk about, unless you want to talk about me reading RPG books. Yeah, maybe. You never know. We also discovered nah. today that uh, Skype has been set to automatically download files, magically, by Microsoft. Thanks. Yeah. Well, you know, it's good for if someone sends you a file out of the blue and... Well, no, it's not. I don't know. Yeah. I sent you some sweet-ass Eurobeat, so you should be happy with that. What was that what that was? Yeah. Oh. I kind of got ticked off at the fact that I don't actually download and I deleted it. <laughs> oh, nice. I actually didn't even pay attention to who sent it out. I just saw, oh, it's an MP3 grain. <laughs> this could be anything. Yes. Then I didn't have the time to listen to it. I was watching a video and I, and I knew that by the time the video ended, I'd have to uh, start streaming, so. What video? Uh, I was just watching some rant from Total Biscuit. Ah. He made this video about um, five words that he doesn't want to see the, or that he wants the gaming gaming industry to stop using. And uh, for the most part, I guess I agreed with it. Is um, one of the words innovative? No, that should have been in the list. But um, see, he uses that word. <laughs> Oh, so it can't be a word to eat. Well, no. I mean, it could. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's used some of those words before, but um, I, I don't think he sees a problem with it. Let me put it that way. Okay. Or maybe, like, or maybe not so much. He doesn't see a problem with it as he might see a problem with it, but he doesn't have a replacement. Yeah, it's, it's hard to be the guy that complains about something but doesn't have any, like, good idea with what to do with it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember what the, the word is he was complaining about. <laughs> um, oh. 
I know that uh, overrated was one of them. Because, really, what does that even mean? Um, yeah. Dark Souls. It's the Dark Souls of X. That yeah. was popular a couple years ago. Yeah, that's you. It's annoying when someone says, Oh, this is just a thing that's like this. I was like, not, not, not really? No? This is the Dark Souls of platforming. <laughs> ha. Um... Oh, roguelike actually was one of those terms um, nice. that he put on there. Because, yeah, it like, doesn't really mean anything anymore. Like, it, it used to mean something because we only got like one roguelike a year. Yeah. And then people caught on that, hey, people like roguelikes. Or rather, the elements of roguelikes. Mostly, yep. I think what people like is procedurally generated stuff. Yeah. Not I, not the things that make roguelikes really fun. Like, challenging design, uh, permadeath, or, you know... Well, I, I, you know, I, I think permadeath is actually something people like to some extent. Um... To some extent, because I mean, it, it, it adds it adds risk. It makes a particular run more interesting. Of course, once you've you know built stuff up and you're like, oh, I don't want to die now, then it, it kind of does the opposite. But you know, yeah, you get really frustrated. You're like, damn it. Yeah. And I was gonna say, you know, Minecraft is an example of, of one thing that's procedurally generated, but um. You know, you don't have permadeath. Oh, wait, it does now! Well, if you select it. Yep, you can, you can turn that on, yeah. But, um, I, I think Minecraft, among others, obviously, um, is one of the games that really popularized... Well, I should... Oh, no, that's something true, it's... I, I, I kind of want to say, actually, that, yeah, it made procedural generation that much more... Um, attractive to people. I think it already was yeah. fairly attractive, but I think it's it's broadened the range further. Yeah, I'll give you that. As much as I hate saying that, because, I don't know, like, I, I kind of have this love-hate impression of Minecraft. <laughs> eh, I, I'm in the same boat, mostly. I, I want to like it, but I just can't. I can't play it. I can't play it for long. It's like, uh, yay, I'm studying stuff, I'm doing stuff, and then, oh, grind, grind, grind. Okay, I'm bored. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. And even with a gajillion mods, it's like... It... Oh, man. I can only, I can only sustain interest with, um... What's it called? Creative mode on. If I don't have creative mode... It... it, it it's not even the deaths that bother me, it's the whole, you have to go and get stuff. Yeah. I know. My feelings about creative mode is that it's like, what's, what's the point? But anyways, go ahead. I don't really originally thought that way about it, because I was like, well, you know, you're, you're taking away all the challenge, but after playing through the game, well, not completely through, but playing it, you know, a good portion of the game, getting to the point where... Okay, you know, I can find redstone, I can make redstone stuff, I can make all the armor, I found diamonds, yada yada yada. And it's just like, yeah, okay, I've done this before, why am I doing it again? True. Okay. Very, very true. Man, if I hadn't screwed up that one run, I was like, Ugh. It was so close. That's fine, you got this. I believe in you. I'm a small potato and you can do the thing. <laughs> Why does that sound like it's a quote from something? It is, it's from two, be two best friends. I'm a small potato and you can do the thing. I think I think yeah. I've heard of that. But 
I don't really watch Two Best Friends or Game Grumps or anything like that. Oh, good. Good Game Grumps sucks. <laughs> two Best Friends are partially taller than one. Yeah. Yeah, but even then, stuff like... Uh, unless I'm really interested in the game, I generally don't want to watch those anymore. Um, even Let's Plays are... The, the, the host really has to be interesting. Yeah. I, I'll give you that. That, or if I can but, find, um... More often than not, the, the more popular ones, people will make, uh... Kind of best of type of videos. Those are nice. Yeah, I'm not a fan of it. I just... It, if it's a game I have no no interest in playing, but have some interest in watching, I'll like watch it. Yeah. But I'm weird. No. I, 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 I used to do that more often, and I'd be like, yeah, I totally want to watch... Some guy play some game that I is mildly interesting, but I don't really want to go through and play um, Utopia because uh, what's his name um, Nakata Lili kept going how he was his favorite game that I watched because I was interested in knowing you know what what is so great about all this. Um, Turns out the game sucks. Well. You have to temper that with, um, you know, this was made essentially even before the first Zelda game, if I remember correctly. And it took... Yeah. yeah, the first one anyway. Um, and it's funny because usually people criticize this going, oh, it's so Zelda-like, and it's like, um, eh, actually it's more like Zelda is so Nootopia-like. <laughs> Well, Zelda's not the first Zelda-like game, and no. it, you know, there's there's always like Hyde Light, or you can even say that like they ripped off Ultima, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so, you know, it's it's a weird bush. S saying something stole from something else is really kind of silly because generally they stole it from someone else too. <laughs> yeah, it's either. Convergent evolution or just inspiration, and everybody's inspired by everything, so. Yeah. We got the inspiration somewhere. I mean, that doesn't mean they can't put a new spin on it, and sure, you know, some games do that, but. That's, that's still, for the most part, the same idea. Or maybe, you know, you took an idea that wasn't so great, you put a different spin on it, and now it's good. You know, when it's done a particular way, it becomes good. But, right. you know. Same thing, different cowboy. Of course. Oh! I wasn't supposed to do that! You notice something? Wait. <laughs> no. Oh, you went to the right. Yes, I had the wrench! It's fine, all you gotta do is do it again. It'll only take another 50 tries, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So, on my desk, I finally sat down and picked out, like, which RPGs that, like, are the ones, you know? That, like, um, these were the ones that I was, because when I was trying to raise some money to go to Disney, I was thinking, man, I could sell off all my extraneous RPGs. Mm -hmm. But then I decided not to. Um. Do you mean RPG so books, I, or? I, yeah, my big RPG books. Okay. Yeah. So... I uh, finally sat down and like, if, if I were to sell all of my RPG books except for these, mm -hmm. these are the ones that I think I, uh, these are the ones I think I would keep, just just so that I could you know play them with other people or run them or do something. 
And they're on my desk, and they're all nice and inspirational looking. That's cool. So, how many out of how many are you keeping? Nine. I got nine books. Well, six, seven, eight, nine, ten books, technically, because one of the books I'm keeping is a flat book. Out of over a hundred. I've got a lot. Oh, so you're not kidding. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I have a lot of RPG books. Like, and I've, uh, when I, when I Kickstarter for Call of Cthulhu Horror on the Orient Express, I paid them like a thousand dollars, and it was so I could meet up with them at their office, hang out, have a good day, and when I showed up, they just like stacked a bunch of books in my lap. Like, just a huge number of books. And I visited them again um, sometime later, and they did it again. So, like, I've got this huge, like, insane amount of Call of Cthulhu books because I just visited their office, and they're, they're very... They gave me a lot of stuff. That's pretty awesome, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it is. They're pretty okay. I was a little mad at him, but I uh, forgive him. Mad at him for what? Um, they like wouldn't talk to me, like email wise, even though I was trying to give them like information and stuff. I was like, you know, oh, uh, such as uh, like one of the big ones I sent to them was, hey, by the way, this, this, um, coupon that you put on your website so that we could download an overpriced item because of the Kickstarter. Basically, they put something on the Kickstarter on their website for $999 so that... Oh, wait. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I think the stream is lagging a fair bit for you because that was uh, that happened about a minute ago. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Um, Might want to refresh, so, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, might as well. Um, so one, so they put it out with a coupon that they thought removed nine hundred ninety nine dollars. Turns out it reduced your card's price to zero, no matter what was in it. Whoops. Yeah. So I was like, by the way, you should. I know we're not talking or anything, but you should probably check that out. Nice. And um, they had someone from not them, but from like a third-party office that was like part of their web development team yep. emailed me back like, "Oh, thank God, someone said something." Da da da. <laughs> well, um, they probably forwarded the forwarded the email, and he got back to you. Actually, maybe not. It depends. No, it depends no, where your emails are going. Like, if they're going to some general box, who knows who's getting it? Which is fine. I just I sent them like a couple of emails and like they just didn't they just stopped responding to me. Like for the longest time, even though like I just you know, whatever. Just whatever. Their business. They don't have to respond to some little name no name person like me. So I was kinda mad at him. And also like Charlie Crank, the guy who runs the company basically, he's kinda like a, a crazy guy. Like in a good way, he's a good crazy guy. Eccentric? Um he, Yeah, yeah, he's eccentric, yeah. He said something to me that like I really took to heart. He said, um, while he was throwing books into my lap, <laughs> he said to me, Mark, when just take what you want. If if you try to do something and no one says anything, then it's okay, you know? Um and then he was like, if if you if you think someone's gonna say no, and and you don't ask them, then you're gonna regret it your whole life for not asking. Because what's the worst that could happen? And I'm like, that's pretty deep, man. And then um, I was sitting there and like there was a couple of books that I wanted to grab, mm -hmm. but I didn't, even though he was throwing books at me because I was like, God, I don't want to seem too greedy or nothing. But that was like literally what what he just got done telling me was like, you know, <laughs> you don't know until you ask. Yeah, and that didn't hit me until like I had 
long since left the office. And I was like, man, I could have got some more stuff from those guys. They'd have been cool with it. <laughs> so the uh. next time I went, the next time I went, I was like, can I have that? Can I have that? Can I have one of those? Can I have three of those? <laughs> they were, they were okay with it. Cause they, they, um, their warehouse is like mostly surplus stuff to begin with. So they're just trying to get rid of it. Uh, so I was that's, wondering. That's the, secret, that's the secret to how I have like over a hundred Call of Cthulhu books. It's not because I paid for them. It's because they were thrown in. But I like them. And I have, I have paid for a lot of Call of Cthulhu material because it's my favorite tabletop RPG. You know? Yeah. It's my number one, but nobody... I, I am just the biggest fan of this niche stuff that, like, nerds online love, but I can never find anybody who, like, is willing to, like, express that love with me. Like, I'm a huge fan of the Android Netrunner card game, and on Board Game Geek, it's, like, the number three game, right? Okay. Like, everybody's always talking about, like, oh, I was just at the Netrunner tournament, da-da-da. And I was like, all right, that's it. I'm going to, there's no Netrunner tournament here. I'm going to try to set up a league. We're going to do some net runs. It's going to be awesome. Everybody loves this game. Nerds love this game. All I got to do is get the word out a little bit at the comic shop. I talk to the comic shop. They're like, hell yeah, we love Netrunner. Bring it over and, you know, try. we'll try to get some people to play. and It'll be great. We'll do sanctioned tournaments. Uh, for like, I did it for like three times, and only one person showed up the whole time, and he was all like, yeah, I won't be able to make it next time, or the time after that, or the time after that, so, but I had fun though, and I'm sitting there thinking like, god damn it. Yeah, really. Huh? Yeah! <laughs> 265 new deaths! It's a tough life! <sighs> okay, I'll be quiet for this. That, that was it? That was the thing that happened, I guess? So what was- how was that different from the actual ending? Uh, I- uh, You mean different from the other ending? You actually got an animation this time around! And the credits! Uh, wait, hold on. <laughs> Shouldn't it be the other way around? You get the credits on the easy ending? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm trying to see if I can see your name. Oh, I see it. You donated at the look of Wits of Wits tier. What? I, uh. You donated at the light blue tier, it looked like. Unless you gave them your full name. Uh, I, I must not have been paying attention because I didn't see it, but I only thought of looking like at about the time you mentioned it. So I was looking actually at the All yellow right. names as they were coming in instead of the, the cyan ones. Uh, it's okay. I'll just look later on and I'll probably see well, it. Well, yeah, there, now but... that you've beaten it, you can just play the first stage again. Yeah. That should That's give me the credits, right? Or maybe there's a replay credits button, actually. I didn't even check. It's got quite a bit of love for a game that does that 
like nobody knows this. Yeah, it it really surprised me because it's surprises rather, because um, this was still in the. Come on. I guess you could say it was in the early days of Kickstarter. Probably not really, but you know. Um, <laughs> someone called themselves me. Me. Nice. Quote me. Yeah. Quote. I was looking at Dinkle DeBerry. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Anyway, yeah, it was still in the early ish days of Kickstarter, so. Um, I think that's why I initially had a lot of people going, wow, this is great, you know, because it's one of the first games that were, I guess, different. And yeah, it looked like an actual... Oh, yeah, that too. They had demos. It was it was nice to actually see, hey, they're, they are progressing, they are doing stuff here. Yeah. So... You did it. How does it feel? And... I, f I want to j just mention first, if you go back here, oops, and you don't get the how to play, uh, <laughs> you get a different song! <laughs> and it's a great song! It describes how I feel right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. You'd, you'd have to unmute the, the, or rather, you'd have to f look up the stream to hear it. Well, actually, no, you got the uh, the soundtrack, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, it's all in flack even, so I can I can listen to it in the highest possible quality. <laughs> A chip tune in flack. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I know, I know it's a higher quality, but it's still a square wave. It's <laughs> ones and zeros, man. How much more quality do you want to that? <sighs> yeah. Well, anyway, yes. Um, I feel pretty great about it, actually. <laughs> um... Yeah, it is kind of ridiculous that I had 1,338 deaths. By the way, if I had been off by one, that would have been that would have been so much cooler. <laughs> yeah, just one less death that would have been great. Uh... <sighs> and all the secret message was was it's a tough life. It is a tough life. They knew what they were doing there. They knew what they were yeah, doing they there. Did. But you'll never have to do it again. I'll never have to do it again. And I just realized... So, what's that? <laughs> I'm only 30 minutes in! <laughs> yep. You know what that means. I guess that means I have to play something else now. And I'm just saying that there's an interesting game that... I'm pretty sure we, I, I had said that I was going to do that after the other game that I stream. Oh, no, no, you didn't specify. Damn. Pretty sure I did at some point. Not initially, but... Actually, I think it was in the last stream that I was saying that that's what I would do. And I hadn't quite decided what I would do with this one. Because it's not they're not both going to be... You know? No. But I figured this one would not be. Oh yeah, I remember. I, you, I had mentioned, um... I was thinking of uh, playing my Steam games. Just all of them. Oh, yeah, just yeah, just picking this, a random one. Yeah, kind of this preview-ish thing. Uh, this is almost first impression sort of thing. Um... Let's see... Is there any reason that I can't just reuse these settings? I don't think so. It's just going to be a different, no. different window. Okay, so I'm going to kill the stream and then bring it back with uh, some other game. Alright, we'll be back soon, everybody. Be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 